How's it going, YouTube? In today's video, we're going to be testing out Shoemaker's Wrath build. As you can see down below, you can see the runes. I'm running Comet, Mana Flow, Transcendent, Scorch with the Secondary and Inspiration. We do have some Biscuits and Cosmic. So the big difference between my build and Shoemaker's build is, of course, probably the Secondary Tree. I go Domination over Inspiration. And, of course, he takes Transcendence over Absolute Focus um i find there's so much more value out of like the flat ap but we'll give it a try i can't like say it's bad or i hate it without giving it giving it a proper shot but if you guys do have like other builds you want me to try other Zerath players let me know like send it to me and i'll definitely give it a try all right i believe it's kind of annoying she's just like hard pushing me under turret ah Throwing pebbles, man. I can't really do anything. Eat my WQ combo. Farming away. Missing CS all the fucking time. Alright, I have my stun. It's kind of weird. So, like, with Showmaker's build, he goes second item Banshees. Anytime he faces, like, AP or stuff like that, he goes ba Banshees second item. Which I normally don't particularly like. Going that because you lose a lot of damage since it doesn't have magic pen. That makes sense. I feel like I should be a lot doing a lot more aggressive trading since I have uh, biscuits early. Dude, I honestly always thought Talia did damage. Like you know when her E disappears, I thought that did damage. Maybe they changed that. I let that crash. No, I didn't prep it right. Stop. Your mom ever tell you about throwing rocks at people? It's considered rude. I'm just gonna pop a biscuit. She's actually out of potions already. She's just hard pushing me in. Oh, chill, chill, chill. You're not gonna flash for me, right? Oh, you like the little side step though? Kinda clean. Yeah, she's gonna recall, I think. I don't know if it's just me. Do you guys like when your junglers like walk through lane and just they casually soak XP? They're not taking farm, but they casually take some XP. You're like, mmm. Kinda rude. Alright, she burned TP, which is good. I honestly thought she was gonna walk back because I can't push it fast enough. Oh, actually, I did. Um, how much for... I need, like, 200 gold. I kind of want to be, like, a greedy little Zara player and just stay. I think we're gonna, like, fake back. Whoa, there's a Grangus. So, if you guys don't know what fake backing actually is, fake backing, what it is, is, like, of course there's, like, fog of war, but it's, like, going out of the vision of your opponent and just like sitting back here and they kind of like think that you recall surprise surprise and they start hard pushing to try to punish you but jokes on them you're just sitting there waiting for that and like the big brain strat <laughs> and we should have lost after after this should be a pretty big power spike yeah we have a 1100. I'll probably just recall after this. Just dump my mana to make sure we get this farm. And just TP back. Maybe buy a pink ward? Hmm, I don't know. I don't know if anyone likes else notices, but with this patch, to increase the mana regen you get um, in Fountain, you just regen so fast. You just have to like literally like sit there and wait. That Gragas really likes me. He's my buddy old pal. I'm gonna miss that farm. Not too bad. We are up 11 CS, which is really good. Surprise, surprise. Having more CS is good. Wow. The more you learn. I guess there's one. We can probably kill him too. If he flashes, it's good. Nice. Easy peasy. 
Oh, they don't surrender. I want to show off the thick. I want to show off the banshees. Banshee is actually so strong. Like being able to block its spell is kind of crazy. I think one of the most annoying thing ever is uh. Especially with like assassins like Edge of Night, it's the same thing with Zeraz. Like once you get like able to block one ability, you can kind of be like more aggressive. Knowing that you can soak. An enemy has been slain. Um do I sell a biscuit? Eh, yeah, well we bought the pig for to sell it. Oh, Talia got a double. Ow. No, can I get this cannon? No! Okay, I got the XP at least. Sometimes it's just more important to get the XP. I actually know it was a cannon. I really wanted that CS. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I wanted it. Mm, do I get this? She's done a lot of CS since she roamed. I have flash, so like, if Gragas does come, I'll just flash. I want this. It's so great. If I get hit by a W right now, I'm in trouble. Ow. And even though we don't have cheap shot runes, you still want to do your WQ combo. To just guarantee your Q damage. Let's pop our last biscuit. Keep her pushed in. Like I said, it's really nice with Cosmic to have a shorter cooldown on your ultimate. Not ultimate, your uh, what do you, what do you call it? The TP? Yeah, TP. Nice. Are there Gragas below me? I don't think there's anything Gragas can do. We got that last play. I'm just giving that farm. The one thing I always forget with the new change, of course, since they changed the cost of the last chapter, the combined cost for Ludens is different. It's now 1250 instead of like 1100. I'm just gonna sell this and buy my Ludens. I think Showmaker really kind of prioritizes his playstyle more on getting like perfect CS rather than getting kills and stuff like that, which is smart because like. Sometimes, like, especially in like higher elo games, it's just so much more important to get perfect CS to get guaranteed gold instead of going for like these crazy like aggressive plays. Oh, sorry, I said G. Uh oh, not the Orin. I guess the cool thing with this game, like, we have an Orin. So at level 14, we'll get to see an upgraded Luton. Upgraded Luton isn't as crazy as like upgraded like IE or like the lethality items, but it's still pretty cool. I think an upgraded looting gives you it gives you more ability power, but I think it also gives you bonus magic pen. I don't know by how much, but I think it's like 10 magic pen. Alright, we're gonna hover her. Leo's almost there. She's faster because she gets her passive when she's next to a wall, she gets move speed, as you can see. Nice little burst damage right here. I have ulti soon. We'll just nuke down this Leona. Eh. Nice. I had ulti in 3 seconds. But a guaranteed kill. Sadly my wave is just... How did my wave get so screwed? Did I not... I thought I roamed when my wave was even. I don't have flash. You have ulti. Oh, unlucky for him. He tried his darndest. I kind of want my, uh... Oh, I read Babel regen. Okay. He may still ulti me. Oh my god, I hit like a truck. Oh, she's pissed. She's a little upsetty spaghetti. I kind of respect the flash. So, we'll go magic pen. Let us buy our banshees. Dude, I don't think I've ever bought this item 
in my life. So I can't find it. There you go. But honestly, it's pretty awesome versus this team because I mean, Liana can't blind. She can't just ulti me. Gragas can't just throw his ulti at me to like push me into uh, like into his team. So it's really nice to have versus this team comp. I know Shoemaker, when he built this, he was facing a Syndra, but I think it works terrific into like a Gragas to Leo, stuff like that. Uh, holding 10. Oh, Talia's going down. I think she just toast. I think I'm just gonna... Um, I think it's more value for me just to push this. I could maybe ult down there. Mm. I think I'm just gonna play for this tower. Get the guaranteed gold. We have a hundred CS. A poof. <laughs> Hopefully we get this first turret. Oh no, the little voidlings are here. The little these things are terrifying looking. Harold. There's Ultim. Nice. Got him on that repeat farm. I think I'm gonna reset. Five my components. Actually, Bench is actually so cheap. Do I stay? I feel like I just stay for the turret. Wait, this is so greedy. But I wanna do it. Foggle off, please. Not bad, not bad. We're showing the scripts too hard. I gotta start missing. Alright, let's get first turret. Nice one for one trade. Always dancing. Oh no. Okay, well, we have benches now. Really big. It's not like a big power spike, but survivability is super nice. Um, let me just DP mid so they don't take it. Kind of just feel safe. Um, do I don't think I walk up? I'm kind of scared. I'm level 11. Oh, don't pop my Banshees. <laughs> no! No! Uh, there's not really... Oh, they're all walking down. I can follow them. Oh, this is terrifying. Oh, they're in trouble. Oh, I had one extra. Uh-oh. No one saw that. Why are they still pushing up? Alright, blocked the big one. Not bad. Just we're just spacing. We're just spacing. Literally just spacing him. No! Ah, whatever. It's all good. Still pretty heckin' good. But if you notice, like when my cooldowns are down, I'm just like outranging him. You never try to auto attack trade, you just literally wait. That's all you do. You just wait out of vision. So he is Storm Razor. This item is so crazy. Look at the move speed you get. 45% for an entire second. But we're probably just gonna go 
death cap? Yeah. Yeah, we'll just go death cap. Definitely, like... Because they don't really have any MR right now, so there's no reason to get Void. Nice. I don't know if I can go for this, I'll be honest. She's a little tanky. Whoa! Nice. Okay, way too close. A little terrifying. Literally was like ulting in place, but I'll take it. Leona actually couldn't damage. Like, they're probably going Banshee second. If they do have MR, like, I was actually just like healing Leona. Alright, so 13 and 0. We're almost to death cap. We're almost there. We need about 720 more gold. Uh, we will just, I think, just head mid. You don't want to side lane, especially as a Zerath. You want to play off your team. The only time you want to go to side lane is just like Sook farm, or if you know where they are. Ulti's in thirty seconds. I mean, it's kind of nice with Transcendence and Banshees. I mean, even though Banshees only gives you ten ability haste, like you can definitely feel the cooldown reduction on your ulti. Oh my god, damage. Oh. Why are you talking low? One right here. Nice. We got that to crash. Uh, do I just want to go back and get that cap? Or we get this tower. I think we get it, get this tower. No, or needs two levels for uh. Oh my god! They just got deleted. This is up. Greggy. Oh, Greg is a bot lane. All right, we'll just back. They're up in two seconds anyways. We got our death cap and then we'll just go into a void staff now. Because we need the magic pen for these merc treads and this Leona. I don't know. Bench is nice, but... I don't know. I feel like it was a lot more even. I feel like I really want to do that much damage. Oh, it's like a really nice safety net. Oh dear, I don't have Banshees up. Another one. Oh my god, he's so fast! <laughs> nice cancel, holy. Oh, uh, last one missed. Dang. You got that like circle- Dude, when people do like circle dodges, it's so much harder to hit. Another one. Oh my god, I hit so hard. Another one. 21 kills at 21 minutes. Oh. Ow. We got that kill minute. I think we just ended. Oh no. Another 
another one. <laughs> nice. 23 kills in about 22 minutes with a Showmaker build. Pretty heckin' awesome. Alright, let's see the damage. I think my damage is absolutely through the roof. Let's see it. Uh, let's give it to the Ash. But as you can see from the damages, 35k at 21 minutes, 23 kills. Do you farm me over a kill a minute? Take a look at the runes. Uh, we used Biscuit, 658 damage from Scorch. We didn't get any seconds refunded on Transcendence, which is kind of just unfortunate. Uh, Cosmic doesn't really show stats. Not too bad. 2,000 damage from comments. Really heckin' sick. But if you do enjoy this content and you know any other builds I should try out, make sure to leave a comment down below. Leave a like on the video. And I hope to see you guys on the next one. Have a good one. Bye-bye.